Hey everyone, today I'm having a look at the Lian Lee PCQ25 Mini Tower Case. This case fits Mini ITX and DTX motherboards. It fits graphics cards of up to 320mm in length and it also fits full sized ATX PS2 power supplies. It comes included with a 140mm fan in the front and a 120mm fan in the top and it has five hot swap bays which makes it perfect for a network attached storage build also because of its small form factor. Included with the case is all the necessary mounting hardware, hard drive rails, lots of different screws for mounting hard drives, mounting the motherboard and also anti-vibration washers for the hard drives and a motherboard speaker and here we have an insulation guide and also a Leon Lee product catalog. Looking at the front of the case you can see that it's mostly blank except for the power button and the Leon Lee logo down the bottom. The front panel curves over into the roof and the roof is almost completely blank except for this ventilation area here. So you can see that the roof of the case also curves into the back panel. So that's one big panel that includes the front panel, the roof of the case and also the back panel. Now looking at the back part of the case, you can see the input output panel area, the power supply mounting area which has a separate mounting bracket. This just makes it easier because you can remove that mounting bracket via the four thumb screws install that onto the power supply and then it's just a matter of sliding the power supply with the mounting bracket into position and doing up those thumb screws. Here you can see the two expansion slots they are ventilated. Now they're, they're held in place they're each screwed into place but you don't actually need to use the screws because you have this bracket here which is on a thumb screw and this just slides in and out of position so that you can tighten it up on any components that you want to install. Both the side panels pop on and off. You've got this extra tab here at the back to allow you to remove them. So you can see they quite easily come off just like that. And just a closer look at that tab. The other side of the case is identical and it has the same ventilated area. Now looking at the inside of one of the side panels. So you can see that it has these which allow it to lock into position. It's just a matter of pushing it into position. So there's two on each corner, eight on each side panel. So they fit into these mechanisms and lock into place. Just a look at the inside of one of those mechanisms. Now for a look at the inside of the case. So first of all let's have a look at the hot swap base. There's five of these. So you can see how there's large gaps between the rails on either side for ventilation. Now the hard drives are locked in place using this slider here and that has a thumb screw to tighten it. So I believe it's just a matter of dropping it down into position once you want to lock the hard drives into place. So these rails need to go onto the, to be screwed onto the sides of the hard drives and then they can be slid into position. So the case comes included with a 140mm fan in the front and a 120mm fan in the top. These are both mounted in the same way and they have the same dust filter design. So what they have, you don't need to remove the screws to remove the fan or the dust filter. They have an elongated hole which is bigger on one side 
and to remove the fan it's just a matter of sliding it approximately five millimeters in the in the direction of the larger hole and then the fan comes straight out and then you can just take it out through the other side and clean the dust filter and yeah that goes the same for this top 120 millimeter fan so both these fans come included with the case and you can only install this particular fan configuration and you can't put fans anywhere else in the case so you can see the ventilation design here the front fan is mounted onto this plate here and there's a large gap in the front here the reason for this is so that this fan can suck air from either side through each side panel and you can see just there the ventilation holes through the side panel for that front fan to suck cold air through and both these side panels are identical and have those ventilation holes so you can see that separate mounting plate in the roof of the case that actually goes right across the entire roof of the case to allow for everything else that's mounted to it such as the hot swap base so I just have the two fans next to each other now the 120 millimeter fan from the top of the case and the 140 millimeter fan from the front you can see that they have exactly the same dust filters which need to be rotated to be removed so you don't need to remove the screws to remove the dust filters and you don't need to remove any screws to remove the fans either both fans have a three pin connector and also come included with a three pin connector to four pin Molex converter so now just looking at the front panel connectors so we have the power button connector and also a power LED looking at the bottom of the case you can see a large mounting area this is for up to three 2.5 inch hard drives or two 2.5 inch hard drives and a 3.5 inch hard drive or one 2.5 inch hard drive and two 3.5 inch hard drives this can easily be removed by removing these two thumb screws and it slides out of position just like that very easy to remove toolless design just a bit of a look around the hard drives can actually be mounted onto it without it being removed though you don't need to remove it but if you're not going to use it it's very easy to remove the hard drives actually mount onto this in the same way that the fans are mounted onto the case you can see the elongated holes with a larger hole on one side you just push the hard drives into the larger hole and then slide them to the smaller hole to lock them into place now looking at the bottom of the case without the hard drive mount you can see that in the middle there's quite a large ventilated area and this actually has a dust filter which I'll show you when we look at the bottom of the case but you can see that those ventilation holes are round and quite small so now looking at the motherboard mounting area this case fits mini ITX and mini DTX motherboards this case can fit up to a 320 millimeter graphics card when running high performance graphics cards it would be a good idea to not install hard drives down the bottom here and remove this hard drive mounting area altogether which is just a matter of undoing these two thumb screws you can actually run a two slot graphics card and still use 2.5 inch hard drives on that bottom mounting area but you can't use a two slot graphics card and 3.5 inch hard drives on that bottom mounting area so you can see that the power supply is mounted here on an angle and once installed it will actually cover the motherboard so you won't be able to see the motherboard 
from this angle at all. And the way this case is designed is so that the power supply will be facing towards the motherboard so it will suck the hot air away from the motherboard through the power supply and then out the back of the case. So the fan in the top by default is an exhaust fan to exhaust the hot air out. The fan in the front draws cold air in and because you have two fans drawing air out and only one drawing air in you also have this extra ventilated area here at the bottom to allow for more cold air to be sucked into the case. So that's the way the thermal design of this case works. Now looking inside the back panel of the case you can see the two expansion slots. You can see the input output panel area and the power supply mounting area. Now looking at the back of the case so there's no space behind the motherboard tray or very little space a matter of millimeters certainly it's not designed for cables to be put behind the motherboard tray now looking behind the hot swap base there's three 4-pin Molex plugs to power all the hot swap bays and you can see the 5 SATA plugs there's also ventilation through the back of the hot swap bays so it's not a solid panel so just looking in at the back of the front panel now you can see the mounting position for the front fan and this gap here for the airflow to be sucked in from either side through the side panels of the case the large hole for the fan in here and the bracket down the bottom here just to give it some more rigidity and you can actually see the roof of the case up in there but the rest of the case it actually starts just here there's a plate that goes right across the top for the hot swap bay area to be mounted onto and also the top fan the top 120 millimeter fan just a bit more of a look around inside of the case so normally I have a segment of my case reviews where I talk about water cooling possibilities no water cooling is possible with this case unless you majorly modify it. Not that you'd really want to anyway. Just a quick look at the back of the power button. And now looking at the bottom of the case. So you can see the case feet are high quality. Nice big piece of rubber there. Now looking at the dust filter on the bottom of the case. This is quite similar to the other dust filters and it's very easy to remove and clean. So there it is. Make sure you check out the build log that I'm doing on a network attached storage build that I'm doing into this case. I'll put a link on the screen. Okay, I just wanted to show you this. You can see all the finger marks on the case. So yeah, this particular finish is really bad for finger marks, unfortunately. But, of course, that is only a very minor problem. I'm really impressed with this case. To be able to fit that many hard drives into such a small case makes this perfect for a network attached storage build or even a HTPC build. There's a lot of applications that you could use this case for, but particularly a NAS build. And having hot swap hard drives in a NAS build is an excellent feature. Because of the excellent design of this case, I think building a system into it is going to be an absolute breeze. Remember to check out the build log that I have coming up. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like and favourite if you want to see more.